Hello, you guys. So we have a very different mukbang today. It's not your usual fast food. Um, but have you guys seen that girl on TikTok eat cottage cheese and mustard with various different vegetables? That's what we're going to do today. I actually did it on TikTok the other day. I had so many vegetables left over that I was like, maybe I should just use them up and do this for YouTube. Also, I need to finish my groceries by tomorrow because I'm going to Costa Rica, Costa Rica with Steph. I'm so excited to meet her in person. We're going to have the best time. I hope I see a sloth. So we have cucumbers, chicken sausage, raw broccoli raw brussels sprouts i have never eaten a raw brussels sprout before hearts of palm um carrots radishes and baby corn the first time i did this i peeled the radishes and people were like you're not supposed to peel radishes like what's wrong with you let's start with a heart of palm because i didn't have a heart of palm in my last one okay so hearts of palm with cottage cheese and mustard it's kind of hard to like collect it. Hmm. I love artichokes, so I knew that I would like hearts of palm. Okay. I'm really gonna try to make this story as PG as possible. Today I'm going to be talking about how I <laughs> lost my virginity. Um, yeah. <laughs> I made a TikTok about it one time and it got deleted but don't worry I'm not gonna be like too graphic here so yeah don't worry about that let me just start out by saying that I never really cared about hooking up with people like in high school when people started like dating and stuff like that I was never really interested I mean I had crushes on people, but none of them liked me back, so <laughs> I just never really cared about finding people to hook up with. And in college, too. Like, I feel like everybody has, like, all these stories of people they hooked up with in college, and I just don't. I mean, there were some people, yeah, but I don't know. I was more into, like, hanging out with my friends. To be honest with you, sex was just never on my mind. Like, I, <laughs> it wasn't even like I was trying to be celibate. I just didn't really care about it. Also, I'm kind of a hopeless romantic. So like whenever I met somebody and I like had the chance to do it with them, I was like, oh, I just don't want to, you know? I kind of wanted to like, I didn't really care about how I lost it. The people that I could have done it with, I was like, eh, I don't want to lose it to them. <laughs> like I, I just wasn't feeling it, you know what I mean? If you feel pressure from just not even other people pressuring you to do it, but like all of your friends having sex and stuff like that, and you're not feeling it, you don't have to do it. It doesn't mean you're a prude. I did other stuff. I just didn't want to do that until I thought it was time. Now, fast forward till after college. I was 23 when I lost the big V, which is a lot older than most people lose it, I feel. It's not even like I turned 23 and I was like, this is the year it happens. It was so unexpected. Mmm, I actually really like the baby corn with it. Like, I've never had baby corn in a can like this. It's really good. Mmm, -hmm. baby corn with cottage cheese and mustard. It looks kind of appetizing when you're like seeing somebody eat it. That's why I wanted to try it. The chicken sausage with it is just not my favorite. I just. I don't know, I just wouldn't eat like chicken sausage with cottage cheese and mustard. Actually, this plate 
is supposed to be like for weight loss. Like the woman who started it um, lost a lot of weight. So like, yeah, it's a healthy snack plate, but I don't think she was like trying to get it to go viral for like people that didn't want to lose weight. Like she was trying to like talk about her story and how she like just ate this and like lost a lot of weight. But now everyone's like, oh, like this is such a fun snack. And it honestly is a fun snack. I need to make snack plates like this for myself much more often. Um, where was I in the story? Oh yeah. So there's this party going on. And these two guys are there. I don't even know how it started, but I started talking to one of them. And we started talking after the party too, like the next day. He was really hot. Um, so we started talking and he invites me to come over to his friend's house to watch Magic Mike with him and his friend. And I don't know what it was, but I was like, we're not just going to watch Magic Mike. Mind you, I am so gullible. <laughs> One time in freshman year, I met this guy at a frat party and he was like a singer or something, or he, he liked to play guitar. And I was like, oh, I love to sing. And like, when we got back from the party, it was like 3 a.m. He's like, do you wanna like practice singing? And I was like, oh my God, like I would love to. And I went to his place and obviously he was not planning on doing that. Like he just wanted to hook up. I got there and I was like, I'm ready to sing. And he was like, what? <laughs> so normally I'm really gullible. If somebody invites me to go watch Magic Mike with his friend, you know, I normally would think that's gonna happen, but something about this time was different. I was like, oh, they want to have a threesome. Like I fully was like, this is the night it happens. Like how iconic that I get to say, I lost my virginity in a threesome. I was so ready for it. And again, like you'll just know. Some people will be like, oh, Losing your virginity is no big deal. You can do it to anyone. And I'm like, not if you don't want to. Like, I don't know. I kind of want to get like a fun story out of it. Or like, if it's not somebody that I'm like in love with, I would, I would want it to be like a funny thing. You know what I mean? So this was the moment where I was like, oh, it, it's happening tonight. Wait, let me get more cottage cheese and mustard one second. Anyway, I get to the house. They're like, oh, it's open. You can just walk in. I walk in. Nobody's there. They're like, oh, we're upstairs. And I was like, oh, eh, yeah, they're upstairs. <laughs> like, it was just so funny. So I go upstairs to their room. They're both fully clothed in bed next to each other watching Magic Mike. And I was like, oh, like, maybe we're actually watching Magic Mike. Like, maybe these guys just want to be friends, which also is fine. Like, they were really funny. They, I actually... They're not random guys. Like, um, I know them through like mutual friends. They're both very hot. Okay, I kind of like the radishes without the skin. I don't know y'all. It kind of tastes like dirt, the radishes. Um. Anyway, so they're watching Magic Mike and I was like, well, I like this movie. So I sit in the middle of them. They start like, putting their like hand on my thigh and stuff. So I was like, oh, like. Maybe this means something. And I had work early in the morning. So I was like, okay, I'm getting a little impatient here. So I was like, I'm gonna try something. I go to the bathroom. Take off all of my clothes, go back into the room and I'm like, Let's do this. <laughs> and we did it. <laughs> and now when people ask me how I lost my virginity, I get to say it was in a threesome with two hot people. Hello? It would have been fun if a girl was there too because like I am bi. Actually, my first kiss was with a girl um, in high school. So yeah, 
that's that's how I lost my virginity. 23 in a threesome. And it's funny because you tell people that and they're like, oh, this girl must be a freak. But I'm literally not. Like, I don't have sex that much. It's so random. Especially nowadays. I'm only really interested in sex these days if I really care about the person. Because hookup culture sucks. It was such a thing in college. And... I think I just never wanted to have sex in college because I saw all of my friends have sex with all these guys and then get attached and then they didn't want anything to do with them. And I'm like, I get attached so easily. I mean, I wasn't attached to these men, um, which is interesting. Normally I do. I think it's because I was like, I wasn't like using them, but I kind of was in a way. I was like, oh, I'm going to lose my virginity to these guys. They didn't, I mean, whatever. They didn't care. Anyway, I wish them well. So yeah, if you don't care about doing all that stuff while all of your friends are doing it, just don't do it because the time will come when you feel ready. Like, you'll just know. And I do think it's a lot more fun to do it with somebody that you care about, you know? That's why I've hooked up with some of my friends because <laughs> it's more fun to hook up with somebody that you care about, you know? Okay. I don't know about this, y'all. Why? Why would you eat a Brussels sprout raw? I just don't, I don't get the appeal. I don't know about that. <laughs> There's like a haze right now in my apartment um, because when I cooked the chicken sausage, I like almost set my apartment on fire. I would tell you more details, but A, I know I'm not telling you who these people are, but I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I'm not one to kiss and tell. Maybe if I had a Patreon, I would tell you guys. <laughs> but there's really no details to say. It was a lot of fun. I will say one thing. I didn't really, like, know what to do. Like, I was, like, kind of expecting them to, you know, lead, which they did, thank God. But I just wasn't nervous at all. I think that's why it's fun to lose it when you're older because you're like it's time like i'm ready you know so i was excited so if you're a virgin <laughs> you should lose your virginity in a threesome i really hope this video gets monetized i just wanted an excuse to talk about it and one person commented being like can you talk about it and i was like well that's an excuse enough to talk about it <laughs> Mm, 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 mm. Honestly, this is a good, like, meal because I'm getting full and I literally was just eating vegetables. Do you think it makes you a psychopath if you eat raw broccoli? I don't think so. Maybe raw Brussels sprouts. I just cannot believe I'm going to Costa Rica tomorrow. Like, unreal. My flight's also at, like, 6 a.m. So unsure if I should sleep tonight. Because the flight is, like, seven hours, I think. So if I don't sleep, it could be nice to sleep on the plane. Because normally I can't really sleep on planes. I think I might finish the chicken sausage just because I'm trying to bulk up. Not even that I'm trying to get muscular, but I do so many butt workouts. Um, One thing that they don't tell you about trying to like grow your muscles and stuff like that is you have to eat an insane amount of protein. Which I try, but babe, 
I'm no Arnold Schwarzenegger. Do you guys want to know something? I'm literally a disgrace to Italians. I was never a big like sausage girl. Like I like sausage and peppers, but mm, I don't know. I prefer like ground beef. It's funny because people who try this dish like on TikTok and stuff normally don't love the cottage cheese portion of it. And I'm like, that's my favorite part. I'm actually not like the biggest mustard gal. Okay, let's like collect some of this cottage cheese here. No, I'm like really not a big mustard person. Cottage cheese, yes. <laughs> I'm like trying to collect it. Hmm. Honestly, yum. Thank you guys for listening to this spicy story time and I hope you have a great weekend. Bye.